Ladies and G-strings, so we've got tonight, today, this, you know the script, uh, a 2021 Epiphone classic, as you can see. So, uh, let's have a listen, I'll talk you around it, and tell you what I possibly can. Let's go. <laughs> Surely it is pick up time. Sorry about that. Yeah, surely it is pick up time, and we'll uh, have a listen to it uh, on the distorted or noisy setting first. Hmm. Maybe back a little bit. A bit too close, my liking. So there we go. That's better. Uh, right. Start with the bridge pickup. You know, I reckon that uh, pickups can be uh, a little bit random, especially if they're scattered around and not matched. And sometimes, you know, you just get what you get. They're very nice. Onto the neck. Okay, okay, let's end the clean. Oh, tell you what. But it does have coil splits, so let's have a very, very quick. 
coil splitty journey. to tell when you're overdriven. I'm sure that there will be a significant difference when we're on the clean. So let's see how we clean up. And uh, starting with the, yes, on the clean settings, starting with the bridge uh, pickup as we do. And we're on full fat, uh, full fat humbuckers. <laughs> Okay, into the centre, and they're both on humbucker. So that's with the neck split. That's with both split. something called treble, no, not treble bleed, uh, it does in phase, out of phase, set phases to burn to a cinder, sounds like something off Star Trek, let's have a listen. <laughs> the kind of thing that you like. I'm so happy that it's got all those different things. Not really my thingy. So, okay, and uh, let's have a jolly good look around it. Okay, so amusingly, once again, on the Epiphone website, does not tell you, when you go through the, uh, there are tabs, electronics, hardware, body, neck, and possibly, uh, miscellaneous, that was it, something else. And uh, yes, very amusingly, it does not tell you what material the neck is made of. So let's have a look at that before we go doing the stem to stern. Now, what I do note is particularly, is that at the heel, certainly the first couple of inches of it, if you have a good look, definitely looks like mahogany to me. Uh, the neck material, it's, I mean the rest of the neck itself, I'm no carpenter, so please... Uh, let me know. Answers on a postcard to the usual address. Could be mahogany, could be maple, but I'm, I would have a punt at mahogany for this one. And what it, interestingly, on the, and to their very great credit, what it does say on their film website is materials may change according to what we can get hold of at the time at the right money. So let's have a look stem to stern. And let's, let's go with a mahogany neck because that's what I rather fancy it is. So, yes, uh, we've got the Les Paul signature and a pearly alike Epiphone logo at the top of the headstock, of course. We're onto the more modern series of Epiphones now. This one is, as stated, from 2021 
and comes with the open book headstock. Uh, you can see from the trush rod cover that clearly it is the classic model. Around the back here we have got some beautiful, really beautiful 18 to 1 uh, Grover Rotomatics as fitted to, you know, Gibson's proper... Good, you know, I should stop saying that really, but uh, certainly as fitted to uh, Gibson's in the USA factory. And I, I think it's I think it's one piece. I think it's one piece, and I think that the uh, brake angle, um, you know, from the headstock from the neck there, I think the brake angle is what causes that difference in hue in the wood. So, uh, and I really am, and I've had a really good look at this, and I do reckon that it's a one-piece neck uh, in mahogany. So it is bound, as you can see. The, it, it, this only came in for a restring and a bit of a setup, but the strings are, actually, the strings are brand new. So I'm just a little bit of a faff with the settings, and now it is at that perfect 1.25 at the 12th on the high E and 2 at the 12th on the bottom E, and it is bang on. So we've got our Ablo, um Hmm, no, well, perloid uh, acrylic, in fact, uh, trapezoid inlays, three position toggle switch, you've got the zebra, you know, uh, black and cream bobbins uh, for the pickups, these are uh, Alnico Classics, and they are popping out exactly what I'd expect to see from Gibson 57 Classics, uh, they're popping out late 7s which is very healthy, and it's a sweet spot for pickups, uh, to be absolutely fair. Ah, uh, the colour. Look at the colour. How do they get that finished? That is really absolutely astonishing, and uh, a bit of a pearly, um, bit of a pearly cream uh, scratch plate going on there, which is screwed in in the traditional way. Nice thickness there in the body. Uh, you've got a chrome plated uh, exhaust pipe plate and the knobs, of course, do all that splittable stuff that you saw just earlier. Uh, we've got the Loctone, Loctone uh, ABR uh, bridge and stop tail. It's the, it's the same as, well, apart from it's got screw heads in the top, but, you know, performs the same function uh, in the same way. Yes, so just binding on the front of the body, nothing on the back, but it is really, you know, <sighs> I keep saying it, don't I? You know, they're just, they're just getting, they get, I'm saying they're getting better and better. This is uh, coming up two years old. This was born either June or July. Uh, 2021 but what a fabulous what a fabulous thing to own I would say um, price I think the website says that they're $650 but I'm pretty sure I've seen these uh, generally speaking on the web uh, around the 550 mark but look at this look at this one whoever owned it first didn't bother playing it because I can't even see a mark on the scratch plate. Oh, the uh, prep board, incidentally, is Indian laurel, and uh, as opposed to any other material. Uh, so, yeah, there's not even there's not even any buckle rash on it. There's not a mark on the frets. This is low or zero mileage, one care flow, never raced or rally. So with all of that, thank you all ever so much for tuning in. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, it's Adios Amigos. ta -ra.